the view cube, and navigation bar. On the top right corner of your model space, you have the view cube, and just below that is the navigation bar. In this document, I drew a simple rectangle. Don't worry about drawing a rectangle right now. I just have this for display purposes. The view cube gives you various perspectives that you can look at your design with. For example, if we want to look at it from one of the side views, we can click the side of the cube and it rotates our design. If we want to look at it from more of an angle, we can select the very corner of the cube and you can see it rotates our design. In the bottom left corner, you can see the X, Y, Z coordinates of what we're looking at the cube as. Let's go ahead and select top once again. We can rotate the cube and rotate it again. We can select one of the sides again and then select the corner again. This offers many perspectives to look at your design in case you need to look at it from a different angle. The navigation bar has various commands too to help you navigate through your design. It has the full navigation wheel which we'll talk about in a later tutorial. You can pan, zoom extents, as well as more commands. For now, let's try the pan. If you select that, click with your left mouse click, you see we can move our design around. Now we'll get more into these functions later and we'll learn how to use them as we're manipulating documents. But for now, I just wanted you to have a quick look at them and to see what they do.